Hey everyone and welcome to part 2 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. So like I said in the last episode, we will be checking out Cloud Spires after we have completed this level. Um, sunrise, 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 Springs, there we go, Sunrise Springs. Uh, this level does not have cutscenes, or this game does not have cutscenes. So yeah, it's just simply straight into the level. So this game might actually go by a little quicker than the other, even though the boss fights in this are... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, a hell of a lot harder. And yeah, enemies drop gems in this game, by the way, guys, so be prepared for that. And my screen did that flash thing to black again. Do not know why it does that, it does not affect the recording at all, like it doesn't uh, cause any desync or things of the such, but it's just a big nuisance. Now we have the cloud people, but they just tell you to activate this. So we can just go up like this. Oh, and we do run into money bags here, and my screen seriously did it twice in a row. If my wings were big oh my god, yeah, she tells us how to glide. Um, it's funny because I think in technically every level you have to glide at least once. So it's weird that they tell you how to glide so many times, yet... Or like, technically in the second level, even though the first level and the home world also require gliding. And, like, they didn't tell us about the shields yet, so I'm pretty sure we'll run into Zoe somewhere saying, Oh, you cannot kill the enemies with the shields unless you charge at them. And, oh, look, here's Zoe. The metal armor? Yep, the metal armor cannot be flamed. Yes, Zoe, we know. We know, dear, that uh, we can't flame it. We've been playing this game for a while. It's been the same in all three games, including... Um, the fourth game, uh, Enter the Dragonfly. I do not know why I did that, but good thing I did because I don't have the game anymore, so I can't let's play it for you guys. And a PS2 emulator is way too much work. And anyways, we found an egg here named Stephanie. Oh, well, sometimes it, like uh, the hatching after they hatch of the egg takes a long time for the scene, but some of them are seriously just like half other scenes. Like that one seriously just hatched, and that was it. Other ones will like get up and do cartwheels or blow bubbles or s stuff like that. And you're like, well, why do you take so long compared to other ones? You think they'd all have like a set amount of time that they would take up. Okay, just double checking we're not missing anything. There are some things we can't get quite yet. Like that thing where you've seen like the ledge where everything was up on top of it. No, we can't get that yet. And there are speedways in this game, but the speedways are done a little differently, because I think there are three eggs. There are the uh, time attack, and my controller went weird, uh, time attack, race, and then hunter's challenge. Yes, hunter is always going to have a challenge. But I like them a lot better because they're more colorful, but the racing is annoying. So speedways might actually have their own video in this Let's Play. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon... The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. Uh, fine, I'll give you 200 gems and yes. Ooh, precious gems. And there aren't a lot of cutscenes for what he activates in this game either. Which is another weird thing about this game. Like, they really cut back on a lot of stuff. But I think technically the game is longer than all the other ones, though there's less worlds. Remember. Um, you do know, and sad part is, is you don't need to actually hover here. Like, look, you go way into the building. You need to hover so you can stop and get those gems if you want. Like, it's... Not even a difficult glide. I think I need 500 gems for unlocking our first animal friend in the game. So that is why I came here, so I can get 100% and get the gems. And those guys, they seriously just blow you away. They're really not that tough. Okay, there's nothing else in here. I didn't forget anything. And this is technically the ending of the level. Like, it's the length of the levels aren't long. It's the challenges in the level that make the level longer. So, without further ado, let's get our egg for beating the level. Oh, you activated the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. And then out from the generator, fires an egg. Now we're creating clouds. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clock up the cloud generator. 
Okay. The text in this game doesn't really line up with her voice, so <laughs> it's a little slower. Anyways, we've got Henry. Okay, now... Oh yeah, and they also leave the level because you need them to get to the next world. Only, like, the main person. But, let's go into this challenge, and oh, this one. This one's interesting because you have to get the the three seed that I think they call them flame seeds or no sun seeds you have to get the three sun seeds to uh, the end of the uh, challenge room but see the challenge room is literally like a quarter of what the actual levels length is but anyways let's just do this get him going I think the first one is really easy though yep first one's really easy and it just makes like a plop sound when he lands up there that's ah, kind of cool I don't know, I kind of like the idea of the challenges, because it adds, like, worlds upon worlds. Like, you know, inside, like, a cloud world, now you have, like, this, like, facility-type level, and it's just really cool how they do that. Ah, uh, you will get into some really weird challenges, like skateboarding and such. Ah, uh, and, and you'll do challenges over in this game, like, it's not gonna be, like, a, a one-time thing for a lot of them, so if you like the skateboarding challenge, yeah, be prepared to, you know, have more than one. I think there's three or four in the entire game. I think there's one in this world, one in the second world. I don't think there's any in the third world. And then, um, there's some in the fourth world, I think, like, after you beat the game. So if you guys are looking forward to that, then, yeah, by all means, get excited. Anyways, now we just gotta get this one. And we've already seen his pathway. There's gonna be those fire-breathing suns. Those actually show up in quite a few levels in the first few worlds. Like, there are levels in this game, too, I really don't like, but there's always going to be those, that one level in a game that you don't like as much as the rest. Anyways, let's create the sun. Ha, <laughs> he looks so corny. He's just a big version. Well, that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud, though. Well, I'm pretty sure since you're giving it to me, it's an egg, and it's Lulu. Do you have a bow? No, you don't even look like a girl. Eh, whatever. Anyways, let's go on, and now we have to go to this whirlwind challenge. Yeah, there are a lot of these weird challenge portals. But remember, this is a totally different world than what you've been in before. Like, in the first one, you were in the Dragon Worlds, and then you went to Avalar, which is a completely different area, and then you went to, um, the Forgotten Kingdoms. And then I think in the fourth game, it's seriously, like, a ripoff of, like, the Dragon Realms, just different levels. <clears throat> Even though there's not really dragons inhabiting them anymore. Anyways, we got this weird derpy cloud, which now creates rain in here. Oh, we got a, uh, an egg from a belfry, and we have Jake. Ah, Jake can fly, unlike me, I still can't even fly. And we hear that na 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 na. Yeah, the egg thieves. Egg thieves are, like, uh, back in this game, and you will see them quite a bit. Like, and I mean, there's challenges in here where these egg thieves get hardcore, and they actually, the hardcore ones start off in the first world. We got Brian. And he was wearing sunglasses. Anyways, now we gotta make sure we collect all the gems here, because without the ability to track, it's gonna be annoying. And we have about 98 gems, 96 now, to find. But remember, there is that path where we couldn't get up to yet, and because we got to the ending and got the, uh, uh, what do they call them? The pump things, the, um... Bellow? Yeah, the bellows. Once we got the bellows working, then it activates quite a bit more of the level. There's like an entire pathway that could have been part of the level, but they decided to add it like for when you beat the level. So, I think that does it for this part. Now, let's just go down here. I've got an itchy ear, so hang on. Okay, that's better. Loading screens are perfect. We already have 10 eggs. If I, if I'm not mistaken though, there's a hundred and some eggs. I think there might be like 150. Like there are a lot. Like, trust me, this let's play is gonna be quite a bit longer. I'd say maybe like 30-ish parts, like, at least more than 20. And Sparks collects lives better in this game too. 
Or, well, like, butterflies, I should say, not just lives. And, oh, looks like we got some enemies to deal with. They always seem to drop, uh, emeralds. Oh, yeah, I forgot to go over the gem count. R rubies are worth one, emeralds are worth two, sapphires are worth five, topaz are worth ten, and amethysts are worth twenty-five. In this game, you might actually see a few more amethysts. Not as much as the first game, though. Okay, are there seriously enough gems around here to... Oh, I forgot, he has a gem. Oh darn it, we're missing a five! Anyways, let's get our last egg, Claire. Have we already got... S I thought that was like five, but... Okay, um... Oh god, my X button got stuck there for a second, I was worried I was gonna die. Now, if only we had the ability to search for, uh... Search for gems, this wouldn't be a nuisance. But, due to that simple fact, we actually have to look around carefully. And, okay, we're back up to that secret pathway. Well, not the secret pathway, but the pathway that we normally can't do. Okay, usually I forget, like, one right around there, but apparently I didn't. I don't think I forgot anything there. I don't think I forgot anything over here, either. So where, oh where, did I forget this gem? Yeah, each episode might be between like 10 and 15 minutes. Wait a second, hang on. Nope. Just gotta check everywhere because this level is notorious for that one missing gem if you're not careful. And here it was trying to be careful and we couldn't even find it to begin with. Usually I leave it down there. But, I don't even see it sparkling anywhere. And see if you press all four, nothing happens. I highly doubt that it's in there with him. I can almost get up there without uh, the bellow actually moving. Okay, nothing down there. Wait, I know, because I, I had glided down. Glided? I I don't even know what the, the past tense for glide is. I had glide down there. No, that doesn't sound right. Um, I really don't think it's in that one. I have a feeling it's more likely in this one. So let's check out here. You do guys do get a little extra time in this video due to the fact that I lost some gems, but... Anyways, um, let me scout out the area for gems via flying powers. And apparently I got stuck, so yeah, that's that's kind of annoying. I know, I really don't think, I really don't think we forgot anything in this part, so maybe it is the Sunseed part. Yeah, it's gotta be the Sunseed part. You guys are probably laughing at me because you guys probably seen the, uh, <laughs> seen the missing gem somewhere and you guys are probably just like, dude, it's right there. I don't think one of those chances where it falls off the cliff and doesn't actually count. In most Spyro games, if a gem falls off a cliff, you automatically get it, but... Uh, sometimes the game malfunctions and you don't get it. Alright, did I get everything in here? Yes, I got everything in there. There are no gems on the upper part, though, so... Oh, wait a second. There we go, guys. Now we can leave the area. And then... Leave the level. So, we got another 400 gems. And off we go to Sunrise Spring. Now, you guys are probably wondering, oh, uh, where will we go next for the next episode? Well, in the next episode, we will be going to this area. Yes, this is actually a level. See you guys then.